Are colon cleanses really necessary? If you're not having at least one bowel movement every day, this makes you a good candidate for colon cleanses. In today's video, I'll teach you how to benefit from doing a colon cleanse and how you can do one efficiently. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. And press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need an online appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com. And I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Our digestive system has its own ways of removing waste, but many people struggle with having regular or complete bowel movements. And this can be due to several reasons, like poor, for example, poor gut health, allergies, consumption of chemicals, and inflammation in the digestive system. If you're not having at least one bowel movement a day, this makes you a good candidate for a good colon cleanse. It's well known that a variety of health problems come from a result of poor digestion, for example, low energy, stomach pain, chronic fatigue, abdominal cramps, you know, headaches, allergic reactions, and all sorts of problems that come up with waste elimination. Now, impacted bowels or feces can easily cause low energy, irritability, sluggish, or irritation, and even brain fog. And you know, this is because the unreleased, unreleased food or waste particles can cause mucus and bacteria build up to ferment in your colon and pour into your bloodstream. And in addition to all this, failing to have regular bowel movements can cause a poor nutrient and absorption, which can lead to low energy and other complications. So today I'll go over how to do a colon cleanse properly, all right? And this video contains two parts to it. It's very important to consider, to consider both as doing only one is not enough to, for a healthy colon to function. Now let's start off with our body's own natural way of doing a colon cleanse, all right? Number one, foods you should be avoiding or removing from your diet. It's important to understand that the best way to detoxify and cleanse your colon is by removing harmful substances in your diet and eating a nutrient-dense real foods. So packaged, packaged foods, fast foods, processed foods, and snacks, artificial ingredient, ingredients should all be removed from your diet. And a quick list of foods removed from the, from the diet are, for example, high fructose syru uh, syrups, hydrogenated oils, dangerous food dries, or even fake seasonings, all right? And all these components make, make it harder for your digestive system to work properly. Consuming these foods will only raise inflammation in your colon, all right? Number two, foods you should consume regularly, all right? The foods that will help you cleanse your, your, your uh, colon are, for example, uh, vegetable juices and soups. Vegetable juices and soups do a great job in cleaning your colon. Uh, they contain living enzymes but especially are very specially helpful in breaking up foods and toxins in your digestive tube. And on top of this, they, have an act they activate the parasympathetic nervous system to accelerate digestion. People who have difficulty going to the bathroom every day will see excellent results after a couple days of drinking green juices or vegetable juices uh, on a daily basis. Foods high in fiber. Fiber is plant material that can't be broken down, down by enzymes, okay? It helps cleanse your colon because it encourages regular bowel movements throughout the intestines, and it helps remove foods and waste. I recommend eating some fiber in every meal to spread that intake throughout the day, making sure that your entire system has material to carry out waste, all right? Foods that are high in fiber include, for example, oatmeal, leafy green vegetables, legumes, and fruits. These are very important. Next, fermented foods that contain probiotics. And adding probiotics to your diet is another way you can cleanse your colon, all right? You can take probiotics in supplements, or you can eat lots of probiotic-rich foods, like, for example, yogurt, kimchi, uh, pickles, and other fermented foods. There, there are lots out there. Probiotics introduce good bacteria into your gut, and with the help of fiber and resistant starches, become a powerful digestive ally, decreasing inflammation and promoting regular visits to the restroom. By the way, apple cider vinegar is also considered a probiotic and is included in the colon, cl colon cleanses. 
the enzymes and acids contained in apple cider vinegar suppress bad bacteria. Bad bacteria. Flax seed and chia seeds, all right? These seeds are amazing sources of essential fats. Flax and chia seeds are both filled with omega-3 fatty acids and have an anti-inflammatory effect and reduce inflammation in your colon. Besides their fats, chia and flax seeds expand, you know, when they come into contact with water, helping you carry out waste material. And these both are great with people that are prone to constipation and slow digestion. Number three, stay away from wheat, okay? I decided to talk specifically about wheat before moving on to the second part of this video because it's especially uh, important and I encourage you to suppress wheat products for about a month, okay? You see, wheat contains compounds that block your thyroid hormones and this at the same time reduces your intestinal motility and in people with subclinical hypothyroidism or people who don't know they have a sluggish thyroid may slow intestinal motility and even cause constipation. So I encourage you to suppress wheat products completely, all right, in order to do a colon cleanse the right way. And this goes out to anyone who's seeking a good natural treatment. And now let's talk and move on to the second part of our colon cleanse. Number four, enemas and colonics, okay? The ultimate goal of a colon cleanse, whether it's a type of enema you use or a colonic, it's, it's really to help the digestive organs do their job the best way possible. So enemas work by cleaning your colon with a liquid, which helps loosen up and flush out accumulated waste. And this can be very, very useful in people who are suffering, for example, with chronic constipation or even liver damage, all right? Depending on the type of enema you are using, of course. So how do you perform an enema, okay? Well, you can perform a, an enema, whether it's a coffee enema or, or one with a apple cider vinegar mixture or even water, you need first to purchase a kit that comes with an insert or a bag or a bucket to hold the liquid and if you're willing to send, spend a little bit more money, you can get a better quality product that has a clasp and which is more capable of stopping and controlling the release of your liquid that you're gonna use. Stainless steel buckets are very helpful and are preferred over plastic buckets or bags because they can be reused, but a bag is also a good and inexpensive option. Step one, prepare your liquid, all right? A coffee enema is a good option for those who need a colon and a liver cleanse. You can prepare your coffee that, coming from you know, an organic source uh, to be used for your enema. And another option is filtered water. Filtered water is a, is a highly recommended liquid instead of tap water, okay? Tap water may contain parasites, trace minerals, or even chemicals that can be detrimental to your health. If you use tap water, be sure to boil your water beforehand to ensure that you're killing off all microorganisms, including parasites. And if you are using warm water like warm liquid, sorry, like coffee, let the mixture cool down before proceeding. Step number two, choose a location. It's important to choose a location that's comfortable where you can lie down for about 15 to 30 minutes, all right? The bathroom is a good choice. Just make sure that you have enough room to lie down and stay there comfortably. It's important that your location can be close to a toilet and keep an extra, and you know, keep extra towels and cleaning products at hand if you will, if you need them. Number three, prepare your kit, okay? Hang or place your kit at least one meter above you and the ground so it has a force of gravity to push out the liquid and pour your liquid into the enema and into your colon as slowly as possible. Step four, lie down on your left side, okay? And when you do an enema, it's important to lie down on your left side to make sure that the liquid uh, that comes into your colon does a good job entering the body, all right? Step five, take about 15 to 30 minutes for an enema inserting the tube into your rectum and start the flow slowly, okay? Be sure to release the liquid slowly to give your colon time to adapt itself and stay there, lying down on your left side for about 15 to 30 minutes, holding it until you're ready to use the bathroom. And that's it, the best way to do a colon cleanse and prevent any future complications. How about this channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or you know comments, feel free to comment down below and I'll be happy to assist you with, every, with anything you need. If you need quality supplements for your disease, visit drlandivar.com. And right over here, I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You will find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.